will be. Okay, so let's go to page 41. I know we just did this on the AC, but I, I thought I'd uh, throw it in there. If you already did this for homework, way to go. Um, here it is one more time. So let's sketch this first. We've got uh, on the ground the ambulance coming towards the collision site. That's our ground. The helicopter is hovering somewhere up here. And we know that it's going to be closer to the collision. Okay. And because we're told that the helicopter is in between the collision of the ambulance, always remember there's always a parallel line with the ground, right? We know that. So the helicopter measures right, the angle of the depression to the ambulance 27 and the angle of depression to the collision it's 62. Okay. So you got to remember that um, it's always measured from the horizontal. Okay. And then what else do we have? We know that the helicopter is 400 meters above ground. So we have our dashed line right here. And this is 400. Okay. So that's our initial setup here. Uh, what what is it asking us how far is the ambulance from the collision so they want this okay pay close attention to this part this is what we want right what is that distance you can't just do it all in one shot okay so you got to watch out i'm gonna use a red pen for uh, adding information here what can we do here remember your alternate interiors Bring those down. Let's do that. So the 62 can come in here. And the 27 comes in here. Boom. All right. Now what? There's a lot of things you can do, but not all of them are necessarily beneficial to us. Let me tell you some of the things that we could probably consider. We've got this angle and this angle. Could we find this one on top? Yes, we could. Would that help us? If we knew this entire thing here, we don't have a, we, we do want to know it eventually to find this, right? That might be one of your goals here. But what do we have right here? We have the altitude or the height of the helicopter, which is a vertical line. So I will make a note. The height. Splits this triangle into two right triangles. Okay, that's very important. So we're going to work with right triangles. <clears throat> that's what we're going to do. Are there many ways of doing that? Absolutely. So I'm going to say this is X here. And this little thing here is y. I'm going to split it up into x and y. I'm going to figure those out. And then I'm going to solve for the total distance. OK? So let's go ahead and do that. Draw this one. We know this is 27. We know this is 400. There's a right angle there. This is x. How can I tackle this one? I have a pair, correct? Yep, I have a pair. So it's going to be sine law. If I were, if I could find this one up here, then I'm able to find x. So I'm going to find this one up here. Um, I'm just going to go 180 minus 90 minus 27 gives me that angle right there, and that is. 63. 63. So now you can use sine law, right? So sine of 27 degrees over the 400 is equal to sine of 63, which is going to be over x. And now you solve.
if you did this for homework, you know already what the answer is. The, the nice thing about, I, I scan most of my keys, but then I, they're all electronic. I don't know where the paper copy is. So this is 785. And uh, you know what? I'm gonna round it to four decimals because it's not my final answer yet. And we are in meters here. Split this up. And I'm going to use the other one, the other, the smaller one. This is still 400. This is 62. There's a 90 here as well. Guess what? Both sides have, no, have 90s, right? And uh, I'm going to figure out why here. To get that angle up top here, I'm just going to do the exact same thing. That's 28. So guess what? We're working with a bunch of right triangles. Why is that? Because the height was given, okay? And we've, but we still use sine law just like before. You could use Sokatoa if you prefer, but I would not advise because then you might use it when it's not, when you're not supposed to. So y is equal to 400. to 12.6838. And so AC right, is X plus Y, which is 785.04 something plus 212.68 something. Nine nine seven seven three meters. Now, did anybody anybody remember what the answer is to this? Did anybody write this down or try it? This is the answer. Really? Yes. I'm always worried when I go off script because I do make mistakes, right? You're like, yeah, yeah, we know, we know. You don't have to tell us. There you go. So that's the distance. I, I was sneaky and snuck in uh, chapter 8. Remember the measurement, the very first unit we did? Was it the first unit? If the ambulance is traveling at 30 kilometers per hour due to rush hour traffic, um, how long in minutes will it take for the ambulance to get to the crash, to the site of the crash? Okay. So what I will do is I'll turn this into kilometers. I may have done it differently on the key. It is what it is. Cancel. So this divided by a thousand is this 0 0.99773 kilometers. And so I convert it first and then I say, hey, if it takes 30 kilometers in one hour, then how long would it take? How long would it take to travel? Hey, you know what? Let's be let's be smart here. It's asking in minutes, right? So can I say 30 kilometers in 60 minutes? I can. Saves us a little bit of work. So then we already know it's X a minutes. So our answer will be in minutes. So we cross multiply and divide. Oh, almost made a mistake again there. 
1.995, right, which is approximately two minutes. Um, ten, just one second, again. I'll be right done. Uh, what I want you to do next is, if you haven't done these questions, I'm going to ask you to do Forty-nine to fifty-three. So I'm going to put this at the bottom of for now. If you want to be successful, uh, you want to be spending time going through word problems, okay, and practicing them. There is a big chance that the key that I post has more than these pages. You just focus on these pages, okay? Uh, and if you want more, you go for it, right? I'm not going to stop you. That's it for today, guys. That's... And if you still need to do the pages that I assigned before this, right? What did I go, 39 to 41 or something like that? If you still want to do those, you can do those as well.